For Mannheim's grand 375th anniversary air show, organizers requested a pair of Chinook helicopters for a skydiving display. The skydivers on board aimed to break a world record by creating the largest ever circle of joined skydivers in free fall. The events that unfolded next were unexpected and startling. This is the story of the last moments of Chinook 74. The Chinook helicopter, a dual rotor workhorse, has been a key asset for the U.S. Army since the 1960s, adept at various missions, from rescue operations to troop deployment. We turn our attention to one Chinook's tragic incident in September 1982. In Mannheim, Germany, the air was charged with anticipation for their 375th anniversary air show, aiming to break a world record with the largest circle of free-falling skydivers. Two Chinooks were summoned for this feat, but unexpectedly, only one was used. This led to 46 individuals, including the skydivers, packing into a Chinook, surpassing its standard capacity of 33. Despite the cramped conditions, typical for their adventurous spirit, they were ready for a record-setting jump. The helicopter ascended smoothly, aiming for 13,000 FT for the planned skydiving spectacle. However, around 12 minutes into the flight, trouble arose. The crew contacted the control tower, reporting issues and initiating a descent. On the ground, the pilot of the second Chinook, sensing something amiss, reached out to the ascending helicopter. A flickering warning light and a disturbing sound had unsettled the crew, prompting them to descend cautiously. As they neared 600 FT above ground, the crew realized their intended landing area was crowded with people. Swiftly, they redirected towards an alternate spot across the highway. While adjusting their flight path, disaster struck. A loud bang resounded, followed by a dreadful whooshing noise, the kind that spells danger in any helicopter scenario. The helicopter's AFT rotor blades detached from the main body, triggering a catastrophic in-flight breakup. The AFT rotor hub and a part of the AFT tower broke off, swiftly followed by other components tearing from the airframe. The helicopter, losing balance, tilted rightward and, in seconds, plummeted onto the highway between Mannheim and Heidelberg. The crash was immense, erupting into a massive fireball that illuminated the sky. Emergency responders were quick to the site, but the severity of the impact left no hope for survivors. This raises a crucial question. What could cause such a disaster in a Chinook? a helicopter famed for its robustness and dependability. In the aftermath, investigators and specialists meticulously analyzed every aspect, every moment preceding the crash. The pressing question was how such a tragedy could occur to a Chinook, renowned for its sturdiness and reliability. Let's delve into the flickering caution light and the unusual noise reported by the crew. In aviation, these signals are akin to instinctual warnings that shouldn't be ignored. The crew's decision to descend was prudent, yet unbeknownst to them, the issue was far more severe than a mere caution light suggested. Regarding the second Chinook, you might wonder why it didn't intervene. The second pilot attempted communication, but by then the first aircraft had already committed to its landing approach. In aviation, once a course of action is chosen, particularly in potential emergencies, it's standard to adhere to unless there's a significant reason for a change. This is a critical issue about the AFT rotor blades detaching from the main frame. The Chinook's tandem rotor system is designed for exceptional lift and stability. Losing one of these rotors is comparable to losing a pillar in a two-pillar structure. The stability is severely compromised, leading to almost inevitable catastrophic results. The investigation into the crash was thorough and exhaustive. The team scrutinized the wreckage, combed through maintenance logs, and assessed the weather conditions. Their goal was to leave no stone unturned, to understand every factor that might have contributed to the disaster. Each discovered element, from the helicopter's overcapacity to the abrupt change in landing spots, was like a link in a chain of events leading to the calamity. But the aftermath of this tragedy brought about crucial changes. As a result of the insights gained, 
substantial modifications were made to Chinook operations and maintenance practices. New safety protocols were established, training programs underwent significant overhauls, and engineering improvements were introduced, all aimed at preventing a repeat of such an incident. Post-crash, the scene was devastating. Debris was scattered over an area 15 feet wide and 20 feet long, with some piles reaching 4 feet high. It was a stark, sad landscape, and investigators meticulously worked through this wreckage to piece together what happened, seeking answers amidst the ruins. An AFN-TV reporter was on board, ready to broadcast the parachute jump live. Picture his excitement, preparing for what was anticipated to be a groundbreaking event, only to find himself at the heart of a tragic story he was meant to cover. Turning to the crux of the malfunction after meticulous investigation, it emerged that the forward transmission's oil jets were clogged. Such a small glitch might seem negligible, but even minor issues can trigger dire consequences in aviation. In this scenario, the clogged oil jets led to the failure of the pinion gear assembly, disrupting the rotor blade's synchronization. The most startling revelation? The cause of the clog was walnut grit. It's hard to believe that something as trivial as walnut particles could block the transmission's oil passages, but that's exactly what led to this tragic chain of events. The presence of walnut grit in such a crucial part of the helicopter was a mystery that puzzled the investigators. This unexpected discovery prompted a sweeping revision of maintenance procedures, underscoring the significance of what might seem like minor details, but can have major implications. The heart-rending loss of 46 lives, including seven U.S. servicemen and five Chinook crew members, was a stark reminder to the aviation world. Among the deceased were two AFN crew members who had been there to capture the skydiving event. This tragedy highlighted the unforgiving nature of aviation, where, despite technological advances and stringent safety measures, the room for error remains perilously small. Yet amid this sorrow, a positive outcome emerged. This incident spurred a comprehensive reassessment of safety measures, led to more thorough maintenance routines, and even triggered design changes in the aircraft. The overarching goal was to leave no aspect of flight safety unchecked, ensuring the utmost protection in future operations. Following the investigation, the aviation world reflected deeply. The walnut grit causing such a devastating failure was a wake-up call, leading to a thorough re-examination of maintenance practices. Maintenance in aviation, now understood, involves more than routine checks. Every small detail is critical. Additionally, the incident prompted a reassessment of operational decisions, like overloading the helicopter, emphasizing the need for meticulous decision-making and comprehensive preparedness for unforeseen scenarios to ensure safety. The Chinook disaster taught a vital lesson in responsibility, affecting crew, skydivers, and spectators alike. It underscored that actions at any level, from pilots to mechanics, have far-reaching impacts. This tragedy has become a key educational tool, informing training, engineering courses, and safety seminars. The legacy of Chinook 742292 lives on in these lessons, continuously enhancing aviation safety and preventing future tragedies.